Dennis, thank you. We move on next here tonight to the U.S. Census and the response here in Tampa. In fact, one of the lowest in the country and the clock is now winding down for folks to fill out their forms. So what happens if Tampa is undercounted? McKenna King tonight with the story. The U.S. Census only comes around once every 10 years, and it decides where billions of dollars of federal funding will go. Here locally, a low response rate could impact congressional representation, roads, schools, hospitals and health care, and hundreds of other programs. For Feeding Tampa Bay, the U.S. Census is critical. A nonprofit that does so much for our community, especially during the pandemic, is asking you to take five minutes to fill out your census. Uh, we're planning for a two-year impact, and those census Every person counting in the census is critically important to that so that we can provide a real more, more robust safety net. They're one of a long list of organizations that receives federal funding based upon how many people respond to the census in our region. Local Head Start programs for low income families are another. We recognize from the last census that the children, especially within the low income families, Head Start and children zero to five, they were so misrepresented because of this same reason. That reason being a lower response rate than hoped for, and the Head Start program has a wait list. If we want to expand our operations, we need federal dollars to do this, and that's where the census comes in. Congressman Charlie Crist in Pinellas County urging households to fill out their census, saying, quote, even a small undercount of 1% could cost our district nearly $7 million in federal funding for our schools, foster care system, and health insurance programs like Medicaid. The deadline to fill out the census is coming up on Monday, October 5th. If you still need to fill out the 2020 census for your household, you can find the link on our website, abcactionnews.com. In Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.